like my skin is just glowing and beaming. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So exciting to have you here. I must be crazy putting a video of myself on the internet with no makeup on, but here we are. Can't really do a skincare routine video with a uh, full face of glam. So this video, I'm going to be showing you an evening skincare routine. And these are just products that I've been using lately. I like to switch up my products a lot because I get sent some products, I buy products. I like to try a lot because it's just my passion, skincare and beauty. So if you'd like to see what I'm doing for kind of an extra all out skincare routine, keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, I'm not going to film while I'm showering, but uh, I use my Fresh Beauty Soy Face Cleanser. It's really, really nice and gentle. I didn't wear any makeup today, so this is a great cleanser if you're just having a natural face day because it's not the best for removing lots of makeup, but it is nice if you have a bare face or minimal makeup. It's just really nice and soothing. And then I used this Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. I was sent this, it's basically with um, fruit enzymes, vitamin C, and then rice powder. And so you basically just dispense a little bit on your hand. It's kind of like that. And you basically add like a drop of water, lather it all up like so, and then it gives a nice froth. Then you wash it away after with some water and the enzymes are meant to just polish away and exfoliate for you. Okay, so now let's get into the actual skincare. So we've cleansed, we've exfoliated. I like to exfoliate with an actual product maybe only twice a week or so, and I like to alternate with exfoliating acids at night. So since I exfoliated already, I'm not gonna use any acids tonight on my face because I don't wanna have it be too harsh on my skin, just my personal preference. So I'm gonna go in with this Milky Tonic from Pixie Beauty from their new Milky line. And then I have like a nice facial cotton here. And then I'm just going to dispense that. Just a couple little drops. And then I like to rub it on in outward strokes, upwards. Because you don't want to be giving yourself wrinkles. And you don't want to pull the skin down and give yourself premature sagging jowls. I mean, who wants that? You know what I mean? So... Let's just keep our skin looking snatched to filth as long as possible. Okay, so toner is on. It's all soaking in. It is a nice toner, actually. This is new. Um, it's with jojoba and oat. And the smell is pretty mild, I would say. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, I don't find it to be too strong. And then next, I'm gonna go in with a serum. So I'm gonna use this Fruitia Skincare Blueberry Essence Serum. So nice. This is a Korean skincare brand. And I think you can get it on Beautylish. Oh, it smells unbelievable. It smells so good. There's this guy on YouTube. He's really informative and knowledgeable. His name's Hiram. I think it's called Skincare with Hiram or something is his channel. He does all these amazing videos about like every skincare brand. And I know he'd be cringing right now to, to know I'm mentioning fragrance. I don't know, I've never been irritated personally by fragranced products on my skin. So I personally don't have an issue with it. But I know a lot of like skincare pros are so anti-fragrance. So keep that in mind. Everyone's face uh, reacts differently to different things. So I smell like a blueberry dream. It's fantastic. Okay, so while my serum is soaking in, I like to do my eye cream. That way it gives a second for the serum to soak in before I do the moisturizer. I'm gonna use the Dr. Brandt 24-7 uh, Retinol Eye Cream with Ruby Crystal Complex, because that's super extra too. Um, I don't really use too much retinol on my face. Just a little bit, by the way. Um, I don't use too much retinol on my face because I'm still pretty young and I um, I don't know, I've just heard of the side effects and I'm kind of hesitant to start using it, but I have heard that it is a true anti-ager. Okay, so we've cleansed, we've toned, we've serumed, we've eye creamed. Now let's do the moisturizer. So for my night moisturizer, this time I'm gonna use my um, LaFance Skincare Hydrate and Repair Night Moisturizer. Shanna at LaFance is the sweetest lady and she did send this over to me. I genuinely just really like this moisturizer and I like that it has a pump because 
I feel like when things are in jars, especially for the face, it's not as sanitary because you're just dipping your hand in that over and over and then rubbing it on your face. And like, I always put things on my face with clean hands, but just over time, I don't know. I just like the pump, how it's just super, super hygienic and you're not touching anything. This is a local Canadian company, love supporting local. And this is all super clean skincare, cruelty free. Um, they actually even have a handwritten expiration date on the bottom. A lot of major brands don't do that. It'll just have this little icon, even like with fresh, it'll say use within six months of opening but some products that you buy don't even have that at all so you have no idea how long the things you're buying are lasting and if those ingredients are even still good and it's just i don't know it's hard to keep track of too right with all the products going on so now that we've done moisturizer serum all the steps let's do the extra bougie unnecessary but fun to do and maybe necessary sometimes based on your results so i'm going to go ahead and add an eight hour radiance renewal sleeping mask this is by the brand avant and this is with shea butter and rice bran rice bran and panthenol this is a really nice and thick mask again notice how it's just in a little tube so you're not touching the jar on your face I don't know how to describe this. It just smells really, it just smells really nice. It's like a, this sounds really weird. It smells like a pillow. Like you're putting a nice fresh pillow on your face. I think that's why I like it. I only ever do a little bit on my forehead because it does get a little oily. So that is all in, pat it in. I'm looking super shiny, super fab. Okay, so don't forget the lips are part of your face. Like why would you not do something for your lips at the end of the night? So I'm gonna use my Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask. This is one of the newer lip masks on the market. A lot of you might be familiar with Laneige. I actually did a comparison of the two products. I'll link it below on my blog. And um, this is what it looks like. It's literally just like a jelly peach seed lip mask. And it comes with this super, super cute branded golden spatula. Now, normally I don't keep this type of stuff because I find it's just like, it's so small. Like look, it's smaller than my mouth almost. <laughs> so I like to take the spatula and apply on the lip. And then I just give it like a little wipe after. Mm. This mask is just so, so, so rich and nice. And it just, ugh. I honestly find the Laneige kind of dries my, my lips out the more I use it. And I prefer this formula. It's just a much more moisturizing and plumping and just really, really nice. And I really am enjoying Tatcha's lip mask. And I can't wait to see more brands releasing lip masks and seeing what's on the market. Okay, so for my last step, um, this is totally unnecessary. As you can tell, I'm pretty prone to redness just from agitating my face here. It's already like flaring up. So I am going to use my Mario Badescu Aloe and Cucumber Green Tea Spray. This is such a great affordable spray. There's a reason that this went viral all over social media the last couple years. And it's just so good and it's so refreshing and I'm a face mist fiend. Fun fact about this face mist, I was actually like, look, I'm just soaked. Um, I was actually in the Caribbean last December, RIP travel, and I packed the rose water one of this, like the jumbo with me, and I actually couldn't buy any aloe on the island. It was a tiny island. And I used the rose water spray all over my body every time I got burnt. I even got a little sun today. I'm going to spray my chest um, and my face again. Oh, it just feels so good. <laughs> um, I sprayed the, the mist all over my body when and I was getting burnt. Like, I'm a white girl. I get burnt. Um, it just happens, but I'm forever trying to be tan. And it was so nice and light and it really actually helped my burns a lot. So just as like a summer skincare tip, highly recommend just picking up one of these. And when you have a burn, just spray it on um, because it has pure aloe and no alcohol. A lot of the aloe veras that you buy in the drugstore are those thick gels with like 
ugh, God knows how many chemicals and colorants and it's just the aloe is like at the bottom of the list. You know what I mean? So like this is pretty much the same price as a big bottle of that garbage and it's going to do wonders for your skin. My uh, Caribbean tans are a testament to that. Okay, so now that we look like we're actually physically wet, um, I'm gonna off camera apply this amazing, beautiful, fabulous whipped argan oil body butter from Josie Moran. Oh, I got the vanilla bean one. It's just, it's so nice. Oh, it's also ridiculously expensive. I mean, it's not as bad as like La Mer or like a Joe Malone body butter, but just like look how thick. It's like it's like a it's like a what's the word it's like a blizzard from dairy queen how they flip it upside down that's the equivalent of this like look oh my god what if it falls it's like 50 dollars on the floor <laughs> so i'm just gonna moisturize i'm just gonna moisturize and um this is just for the purpose of this video i'm not gonna actually like moisturize my legs and my chest on camera but i do like to moisturize literally almost my whole body including my boobs because who doesn't want to have soft skin i mean come on this body butter is definitely a splurge but i try and get it when this Sephora sale is on and that way i save some money on it and then i literally just use it sparingly and it lasts me several months and it's honestly just a spa experience every time i use it the scent the vanilla bean if you're a vanilla lover and you're struggling to find like a nice natural vanilla scent i guarantee you will like this body butter and as per usual it's the evening it's warm in my apartment and i love to wind down with a refreshing cold perrier and today's flavor is peach and i added a little bit of fresh mint harvested from my patio garden Okay guys, so if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy how shiny my face is right now, if you wanna see more skincare, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. I would love to see you back on my channel. And now me and my Ralph Lauren towel and the super comfy robe are gonna go and do absolutely nothing. Oh, that's really... Ugh. I'm trying to get used to this Zoom thing. No, I can't say moist in a video. Perrier, feel free to sponsor me anytime. No, we're cutting that out. We're cutting that out. Oh, it's turban. It's part of my look. All right. Mm -hmm.